I-26. We're holed up in a farmhouse outside of Marinier. I close my eyes thinking of Hazel, but end up having the dream again. Same dream, huh? <sighs> Pretty much. Can't seem to shake it. <sighs> I'm good now. You get some rest. No. I have to show Pearson I'm ready. I don't care what he says. You ain't got nothing to prove. Yeah, well, I'm tired of taking his shit. Back home, you want to settle something? You do it head on. It's the only way to earn respect. I understand that. Believe me, a man has to fight his own battles. But respect don't mean a lot if you get yourself killed. Just glad you got my back. <clears throat> Besides, good old St. Michael's watching over us, so we got nothing to worry about. <laughs> Didn't realize you guys believed in that stuff. I'll take all the help I can get. So are you going to tell me about that dream, or what? Wolves had been killing our cattle. Me and my older brother Paul were hunting them when we got cornered. Red! Red, take the shot! I'm trying, I'm trying! You all right? Uh, I'm sorry, Paul. Listen good, kid. It's only natural to be scared. We need to head home, baby brother. From that day on, I swore I'd never let Paul down again. But now it's not just him I gotta live up to. It's Pearson.